Okay. So, in the previous class, we were discussing about schedules. Huh? So, how many schedules are there? 12 schedules. So, how many schedules we discussed? Six. Can you tell those six schedules? Hmm. Hmm? For again, yeah. The establishment of states for the first schedule. No? So, first schedule is about total 12 schedules are there. First is about names and union territories. Then, so second is about salary and allowances of president, governor, Lok Sabha. See, order it is better. Okay. So hmm. mix party relevant. Hmm. Supreme Court, High Court. Right? See, President, Lok Sabha Rajya Sabha has the presiding officers, Supreme Court. Judges. Right? Below governor, legislative assembly, legislative council head, High, High Court. Yeah. Another is CAG. So this is about salaries and allowances of these people. Nine. Okay. See, pictographic memory always helps you like anything. Words will always you feel like okay, it is in the same order. But this picture, no, it will give clarity. Okay. What is third schedule? Votes and affirmations of candidates for election. At central level, after becoming MP, after becoming minister, then Supreme Court judges. So here, state, before election, once they become MLAs, once they become ministers, then High Court judges. Another is CAG. The vote and affirmation of these people. President and governor vote is not here. Because it is there in the constitution itself. In the article, separate article is there. So what is fourth article, fourth schedule? Allocation of seats to Rajya Sabha. From where? From Indian territories or states? Indian territories. That is what the clarity you need. Allocation of seats to Rajya Sabha from states and union territories okay so then fifth schedule fifth is about administration of scheduled tribes sixth schedule is about tribal areas okay so is to we discussed okay And tribal areas of what? ATM square. Assam, Tripura, Meghalaya, Mizoram. 
only in those states some tribal areas are declared for that administration how to do the administration is mentioned in 6 6th schedule of our indian constitution okay in the fifth schedule article 244 is important obviously it is talking about how to administer scheduled areas and scheduled tribes in the constitution 244 but the repeated points whatever you need to refer again and again is mentioned in the fifth schedule of our constitution okay this we can separately study but just for understanding see here tribes advisory council is there because it is not like panchayat raj or the bbmp in bangalore or the corporation in bangalore so that tribal areas needs separate body okay so that we will study in panchayat raj urban local bodies and uh, local area governance separately how actually the administration is done at the local level so just an example so what is there sir tribal tribes advisory council tac is there okay and who will be the means under whom it will be established tac hmm? under whose direction see one thing you remember central government is under parliament or you can say even under prime minister so uh, even president you can say state government is under cm governor so you you know that apart from these two how many type of areas you can see like union territories uh, lakshadweep andaman nicobar or scheduled areas tribal areas scheduled tribes included areas so whatever is there one thing thumb rule you remember so it will be under the direction of president in uh, local level governor will be there please remember that either president or governor ultimately is president only thumb rule thara nenpit koli except this central government and state government okay so if you see it will be like under the president obviously governor will be there to manage those things so you remember that anyway that we will discuss in separate chapter for example so what law is applicable there obviously government of india whatever laws it is trying to implement in other areas definitely it is applicable but not completely this is another rule you remember because they are special areas so obviously the governor or the president on the top will decide about these areas okay okay so as i said the six schedule is about particularly tribal areas in assam tripura mizoram meghalaya atm square okay so this is also article 244 only because 5th and 6th together you remember okay so by 244 2 is there along with that one more article 274 we are going to discuss about how actually central government gives funds that 275 is about funds what type of funds we are going to give to these areas is it clear <clears throat> so these are special areas compared to 
other scheduled areas and scheduled tribes. Fine. See, there how it was tagged, Tribal Advisory Council, here you can see, District Council, Regional Council. Means, in central level, we have Parliament. In state, we have Vidhan Savda, Vidhan uh, Legislative Assembly, correct? Same way, for these areas, Tribal Advisory Council itself is like a Parliament. Regional Council itself is like a Parliament. District Council is like a Parliament. Ashtantu Artha Agatala. Yes. And schedule. Up to six schedule we covered in previous class. So this seventh schedule article is 246. Okay. There in the seventh schedule. India is a federal country. Right? That means powers are divided among both state as well as and the powers, how they are divided. Some powers are given to only center. That is union list. Some powers are only given to state. So that is state list. Some powers are given to both. That is concurrent list. That's concurrent list. Okay. And some things are not in any of this list. They are called as residuary powers. There is no separate list called residuary list. And don't think that Sir, this is union list, state list, concurrent list, where is residuary list? If that list was there, in the beginning itself, they'll put in either union list or state list or concurrent list. Only when it comes to like exceptional thing, who has to decide? That is what called as a residuary. There is no list called residuary list. Sir, there is, something is there XYZ. It is not in union list, not in concurrent, not in state. Who has to handle? Okay. So, this is a residuary man. Residuary and reno? Budi. Residue and reno. After burn, whatever is left is called as residue. Correct, no? That means remaining part. So, same residuary list. Okay. So, so union list is there, state list is there, concurrent list is there. See, this is very important schedule. They will ask questions like, because the list is very big. List is very big. Union list, how many are there? Any idea? How many entries are there in union list? Any idea? Hmm? 97. Okay. So, any idea how many there are in uh, concurrent list? Hmm? How many? Concurrent. Concurrent means for both. Hmm? 50 is, uh, 52. No. Okay. And uh, how many are there in the state list? Then I okay. Hmm. Actually, earlier uh, means some changes are there. Just guess. Whatever may be the number, just guess. This is union list. This is state list. This is concurrent list. What is your expectation? Whether increase or decrease, same. So, what is your opinion about union list? Just I want to see how you are looking at the surrounding things. Forget about numbers. What I am asking you is, some number is there. 
when in, uh, when your original constitution was made some numbers are there. what is your opinion which list has increased or decreased or same one <clears throat> union list decreased hmm in your opinion everyone says union list decreased okay some says what neutral or uh, increased increased some saying increased what about concurrent increased any other opinion so no change hmm any says decreased okay what about state decrease increase any says same it is as it is okay i want to know the reason those who are saying union whatever either decrease or increase why you are saying it is decreased union lists are decreased hmm? okay so you are saying the state is the bit said hmm state hmm so you mean to say that uh, union has given some power to states you take these things how the yes yaar irthira my question ne iga you said sir increase agida decrease agida so why you people are saying increase why you people are saying decrease see this is what i want actually you need to understand by that there's a, there will be some reason means ha no how it increased oh, center gave something to them you have 10 chocolates she has some 10 chocolates she has some increase means somebody has to give to you correct or decrease means you have given to something else so why you are saying it is increased union list or decreased your reason yes why you said increased there much work has been done from from the past for the if you compare the past for present so i think that uh, because of uh, like more work done and sports is if more work done means why that number will increase what is the meaning of number first you understand that what okay what powers they have like who has to look after the defense correct see who has to look after the defense that is union who has to look after the navy military air force who has to look after the energy atomic energy correct no so it is the union list means what work they have to do. state list what work they have to do concurrent list means what work they have to do. correct so what you are why you are thinking that union list increase that means another work is given to them another power is given to them Hmm. why you were thinking so no who has given see somebody has to give right here power is divided between only two people only you and navin is there so if your power is increasing he has to sacrifice if his power is increasing you have to sacrifice so i am asking you you are telling that sir union power is increasing if you are saying increasing or you are saying that sir decreasing what is the logic what is the reason behind it hmm fine let it be development why one more power is you are saying that more powers are added along with all these things many things are there 97 98 right so you are saying something is extra added uh, that is the meaning of increasing and you are saying that sir reducing correct navin why you are saying that it is reducing union list yaro obr reduce helidra nal bardide somebody said yaro helidu nina 
ರಿಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಅಂತ ಸೊ ಸೊ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಸಮ್ ಪವರ್ಸ್ ಟು ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಇರ್ಲಪ್ಪ ಡೈವರ್ಸ್ ಕಂಟ್ರಿ ಇರ್ಲಿ ವಾಟ್ ಇವರ್ಸ್ ಯು ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಸೇ ದಟ್ ಸೊ ಚಾಕ್ಲೇಟ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಯೂನಿಯನ್ ಗವರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಟು ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಸ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ಅಂಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ರೀಸನ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಟ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ನಾಟ್ ಕನ್ವಿನ್ಸ್ ಸರಿ ಅಮ್ಮ ಡಿಫೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಇದೆಲ್ಲ ವೈ ಯು ಆರ್ ಸಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಮೋರ್ ಪವರ್ಸ್ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಡಿಫೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಅಲ್ಲ ಅದು ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಇದೆ ಅಲ್ಲ ಹೌ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸಿಂಗ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಡಿಫೆನ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಹೌ ಮೆನಿ ಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಯು ವಾಂಟ್ ರೈಟ್ ಡಿಫೆನ್ಸ್ 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 which was not there in their hand something newly given huh then why you are again talking about which is already there okay same uh, almost same question for everything why you are saying that state list increased or concurrent list increased okay so how many of you say that concurrent list increased and reason for that question artha aagtide ya huh ರೀಜನಲ್ ಪಾರ್ಟೀಸ್ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಚೇಂಜ್ ದ ನಂಬರ್ ಓಕೆ ಎನಿವನ್ Oh. Uh, come again once again state power kodbeko anta ah uh, then central government wants to control over states no angola ah uh. Or they want to do it. That's what initiation means. Only two players are there. I, either he should have power or me. So you want to say that? That's what it wants to have control over it. You mean to say that? What is the reason of adding to center? See, very simple thing. Husband is having some powers. Wife is having some powers. Okay? one more basket is there both will be deciding correct so if suppose 10 powers are in the hands of husband 10 powers in the hands of wife and another five powers in the hands of mutually that is concurrent both can handle the things what is the meaning of hus- husband list from becoming 10 to 11 either it should be coming from wife or from the common this five should become 4 and here it become 11 correct or that 10 becomes 9 and it should become 11 that is zero sum game so it cannot be like both sides will increase correct no so what is the meaning of it 10 becoming 11 in the husband's basket means husband's power what is the meaning of that so more powerful now ಹಸ್ಬೆಂಡ್ ವೈಫ್ ಇಟ್ಕೊಂಡೆ ಹೇಳಿ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಮಾತಾಡೋಣ ಹಸ್ಬೆಂಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಮೋರ್ ಪವರ್ ಅಸ್ಯೂಮ್ ದಟ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ವೈಫ್ ಬಾಸ್ಕೆಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೂವಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಕಾನ್ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಬಾಸ್ಕೆಟ್ ಹಸ್ಬೆಂಡ್ ಟೆನ್ ಟೆನ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಅದೇರ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಟೆನ್ ಬಿಕೆಮ್ಸ್ ನೈನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಒನ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಾ ಮೂವ್ ಟು ಕಾನ್ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಹೂ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಸ್ಟೋರಿ ಹಸ್ಬೆಂಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ tens wife is having 10 powers both for example which school to be joined so both will decide got it so like that it is there now it is becoming nine yakama vardini ivat already maya and this is becoming six what is the meaning of this any power in equation change or be more powerful Last 10, 5, 10. This became 9. This is 5 only. This became 11. So, this is scenario 1. This is scenario 2. 
So here who became powerful? Husband. Here who became powerful? Second. Husband. How? Okay. How he became powerful? That is okay. No change here. How he became powerful? Poonamma. That you tell. Yes. 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 That you tell. If his power is same, how he will become more powerful? Just because wife lost one, he became powerful? No. Then, earlier, he was not having control over that one more power. Now, he is getting that power. Correct, no? Earlier, that sixth item, he was not having any power. Now, he is having power. So, now, even though it is added in concurrent list, he became powerful. Okay. Instead of asking from wife to directly his basket, what he is selling? Let us put to concurrent basket. What feeling she is getting? Hey, he is not asking for his basket, right? Concurrent basket. But actually what husband is doing? He is also getting control over that. Actually, this scenario is vice versa, I am telling. Okay. In, in uh, taking in favor of husband, I am just telling. Actually, that is other way around. Okay. So, so, always people aspire for what they don't have, right? <laughs> Correct, right? Ilva? Hangen Ilva? Huh? Okay. So, anyway, here, see the understanding here. Now you, you were telling that state is increasing with power. Still, you believe that? If you're looking at the scenario, do you think that central government is so liberal and want to give it to state? So then what might have happened? What might have happened? Union list, concurrent list and state list. What definitely you can say? Which has reduced? Good. So which has increased? More is concurrent, one in union list. So Earlier in the union list, 97 were there when original constitution was written. Now it has become 98. Okay. And the uh, state list, originally it was 66. Now what has happened? How much? 59. And uh, concurrent list, originally it was? 52, correct? Huh? Hello, sorry. Now it is for 52. What is that? It was 47. What is the concurrent list? 47. Now 52. 66, it has come down because state power is constantly taken. And they have, see, from state they have moved to concurrent. Why they did not move directly to union? Because states will quarrel. You are taking our power. Don't worry. Your power is there. I will also have power. But ultimately, you know that who will be more powerful? Who will be more powerful? That is union. So what, uh, what? how does it matter to me? If it is in union list, I will do. If it is in concurrent list, then also I will do. So actually, centralizing tendency is seen since from the independence. When central government is having more and more control. So that can be seen here. See, numbers will tell stories. You need to listen to them. Simply don't mug up power 97, 98. 52, no. Numbers are telling you stories. In India, in which direction it is moving. So that says, so states are losing power, center is becoming more powerful. So it's, I'm not telling, numbers are telling that story. Correct? So this is one thing. Originally, this was like this. And uh, in seventh schedule, next question, what they will ask, no? Sir, do we uh, need to remember this 97, sorry, 98, 56, and uh, 59, all these things? Because they will ask questions like this. Which of the following is not in the union list? Which of the following is not in the concurrent list? Which of the following is in the part, which of the following are part of the state list? Like this, they will ask. So do we need to mug up everything? They will ask based upon current affairs. For example, agriculture will be in continuously in news. 
So they want to test your knowledge. Who's because uh, assume that central government doesn't are fighting. So definitely he'll become curious and he want, want you to become curious. So where it is mentioned, after open mind, he's not expecting you mug up everything. Okay. For example, farmer bills, uh, so continuous protest is going on. At least he expects you where that agriculture is mentioned. Suppose river water issue is, you know, problem. For example, cover issue problem. Correct? So he wants you, whether you know that, whether it is a unit or state or where it is mentioned. Some things can be logically guessed, but don't do that in quality. Once always have a look. Not all. So wherever you feel like it, uh, like confusion will be created. Defense, no one will be having confusion. 100% sure? Yes, sir, central government. Even without seeing, you can say. Because for whole India, they cannot give it to state. Impossible. For army, Madhya Pradesh army, Tamil Nadu army, means every, even now and then we will see wars between two states. Impossible. So then you need to understand, you need to go through them. Where you feel somewhat confusion is, for example, agriculture. Is there any logic? It should be under state or union. So you must see and remember. Water, very difficult. So, for example, a river is flowing only within state. Assume that. Within state only, it is there. Not like Kaveri, which is flowing from Tamil Nadu to I mean, Karnataka to Tamil Nadu. Okay, some river may be like flowing uh, across states. Some river may be within. So who should be having the power? Within uh, if state means uh, who is having control over Kaveri water then? Hmm? So that's what I'm saying. So questions will come for sure. One question that is based upon current affairs. But you, whenever you are free, just look at the thing. And some things are very easy. Yeah, don't even uh, try to remember. See, United Nation means uh, that's a reunion list one. What is there to get confusion? Nuclear center, union list one. Correct? But there are some things, okay? And what you are supposed to remember, which are those powers moved from state list to concurrent and union list? What are those things? Definitely that will be the question. How many subjects moved actually? How many subjects moved? Allah is the number. How many? Six. Seven. So you need to mug up those seven. Because he is curious to know that whether you have one. Why actually they have moved? Don't mug up. Understand the story behind that. For example. Education was in state list. Education was in state list. Now it is in concurrent list. Why so? So you need to develop that curiosity. So how to think? Just I'm making you to understand. Why education moved from state list to concurrent list? Hmm? Be, uh, at least you are aware, you are in the same era. I am not telling uh, 1940s story. Everywhere, everywhere that issue is like uh, nationwide, same okay, curriculum should be there. Need came, correct? NEP is there now in place. So, what they are trying to achieve? Uniformity across India. So, if it was only under state, center cannot bring need, center cannot bring new education policy. Why uniformity should be there? Because all for higher syllabus, somebody is studying lower syllabus, they cannot compete. No? So allocation should be even across the medical colleges. So they felt, okay, if it is only interested, they will decide their own syllabus and whole, whole India, like always mismatch will be there. What you have studied, what you have studied, if national level exam comes, one will perform lower level and another perform excellent. So, if education becomes a uniform throughout India, that is good. So, 
this discussion even today it's continued correct no tamil nadu is opposing they are not ready to accept the need fine so like this events will come and they will move for example that was that move to concurrent list okay so you you see those things which of the following are in concurrent list you will definitely ask such questions only which is having stories story illa en kelala sum sum ne random agi will open seven schedule and put no so whether you have understood what has happened what changes are there got it so if you look at uh, see uh, okay union list coming to concurrent list see i'm not telling all uh, details i'm giving one one example so that how we have to read other examples for example see for something goes wrong in bangalore something goes wrong in bangalore so bangalore is under fire can central government send the army immediately to karnataka or bangalore why not Yeah, take a longer time. Assume that it has come for some work in Bangalore itself. Assume that it is in cantonment. Then you will allow that it was staying here only for some uh, task. Now, now can uh, can they use army? Then why why not? Why not? Okay. some uh, like uh, is officer murder or something a suspicious thing can cbi come directly and uh, investigate the case hmm? no, why no from so here is the answer public order police are under state list so ah, it is their power they know how to decide, how to handle the situation if they feel i cannot handle either they will request or in extra emergency kind of situation so you know that that emergency kind of declaration and uh, situation parliament can take the control over the state so when power is clearly written here how can you think that the army will come and uh, they can simply send the army either states should request please send i cannot handle on my own or some emergency is created then they will send otherwise they will not send so try to understand this law and order okay it is in the state list police is in the state list got it so then how can you how can union people suddenly come and take it it is not in concurrent list artha aagtide alla only state can make laws related to state, uh, state can issue orders related to law and order so this is how you have to study which one six public health and sanitation yes ha ah, for example covid situation good thing covid situation who has to handle is it center or state it is the state's duty because public health and sanitation hospital dispensary is everything is under the state government control center cannot do anything state government has to issue orders so doctors should go on uh, emergency duty all these things no so state government is there same thing idralli enide like pilgrimage other than pilgrimage to places outside india so in that state who is having control but this is important during the covid time you can expect okay they will ask health is under home people will think because government is doing vaccine centralized everything fine but it is facilitator but again state government has to take action and they have to uh, you know supply and uh, implement everything so that is the meaning of that see agriculture now tell me agriculture is in state list 
how central government made farm laws so you all know that farm laws was implemented by parliament he will ask which of the following are under union list you saw agriculture wow farm laws has done without power how they will do right then how they did it huh how they did it any any idea i will show the answer come to concurrent list how they did it i will show yes one more is there i guess okay see here trade and commerce in and production supply and distribution of the products of any industry where the control of such in industry by the union is declared by parliament but to be the imported goods of same kind such as product food stuffs including edible oil seeds cattle fodder including oil cakes raw cotton see here what it is mentioned agriculture is state list the trade related to all agriculture related matters are there so they are going to make class related to apmc that is where the agriculture product is sold how it is distributed across the network so they used that provision we also have power we can do. so whenever in, i am uh, i am not saying you mug up all these things i am giving examples i am giving examples some things will come in newspaper then oh you need to understand where it is the same thing will happen with respect to water what is there in the state list well, the underground water is under state list surface level water running is under hmm union or concurrent union check made but this how this is how it will be so who has to handle what always like that only right i will try to exercise my power within the available thing the same problem happened with respect to health also with respect to health also health is under state list and also under concurrent list so different provisions are so where central government has to use they will try to use their uh, subject in the concurrent list state definitely if it is there in the state list they will use it artha aita idralle i am not telling you know ella kalthko madbeku antala what one day one line whose power is what focus on whenever in current affair something comes so they are fight, fighting over the issue so then first you see actually what is the whose power it is then you talk about issue without understanding oh the what they are making is correct what they are making is wrong don't come to assumption go and see then you say en gotta don't be the editorial readers be the editorial writers en angandra this is how they will also answer whenever some issue comes first they will open up the stuff to say something is right something is wrong they will open these things so and they will start arguing on those points now open number i know article number you know open the point number 10th in the concurrent list read the 11th point in the state list so you feel like how oh, how much they are putting effort so it's you can also do it because it is you will remember it you will remember it whenever some issue comes go to the basic stuff whose power it is then you easily will understand the subject terms why they are fighting them okay any doubt here they will ask the uh, like questions which of the following are under concurrent list or not under union list or which are under union list that kind of things they will ask so just you go through one by one okay see he will get curious for example 
every day you read newspapers he wants to ask under whom it comes hmm? which list okay so under their curiosity every day they open newspaper yada adralu yerdu ide fail allo there are two things one is under union leaf another is under alla one the concurrent another is under inna ide concurrent matte nilla yerdu illa anukute fail anyway we also don't remember why we should remember when that news in uh, when something is in news for that yes sir, we can expect this question will come this is how you have to think what question may come okay in in tomorrow's class you will also learn how to actually guess the questions using artificial intelligence okay right earlier we used to use our brain now use computer to do the same thing <laughs> evening class will not be there what you have decided about program if you want to have we'll have from 2:30 ala en decide madidire if you are not informed huh? class mugad mele nilla already i informed if planning should be done right helidira helidra dannu okay so this is about story of eight schedule like eight schedule is talking about the division of powers how actually powers are divided which power is in the hands of whom and how many were there originally and now how many so this uh, these type of questions will appear okay coming to eight schedule eight schedule is talking about languages okay which is the what's your knowledge about of you know national language official language there is no national language okay how many official languages are there hmm? 22 okay in that 22 english hindi is it there you said 22 right in that hindi is it there english is it there then english is a official language or not you are saying 22 are there and in that english is not there but we every everyone knows that english is the official language who said that go and open the article 344 it says you english and hindi are the official languages for india Hmm. i'll come first thing i answer this you said that english is not there in 22 and but you say that it is official language so official languages for india are english and hindi and what about these two sir i'm sorry this uh, remaining they are also official languages official languages to be spoken in parliament for india that is english and hindi official languages for whole india that means all legislative assemblies across india that is so this 22 okay sir hindi is here oh, where is h hmm. why not english english akilla idral which is english is not a regional language so this eight schedule i am expecting that question it will come for sure any time it will come because people will think noda kogala that is the problem he knows very well students don't like details they know everything uh, yes sir 22 22 the moment we ask suddenly confusion english idra idiya illa idiya illa illa idralle doubt beda okay sir hindi is there but why not english that is uh, this is list of indian languages indian official languages english is not indian language okay so that is why that is separate 
for whole in parliament for official purpose whole union of india uses hindi and english hindi is here so because it is official language here also it is also regional official language is it clear okay what made the i'll come to that see i am expecting question first is about this english 90% will get trapped okay second thing <clears throat> I am expecting which of the language is not there or not, which of the languages are there in the eight skills. Ni barkala the illa pa. Nani ya barkon try kele do. For se barn check mal lai baga. Yes. Whether it is mentioned in the state schedule twenty two list, it is not there. Ya what to? And it's very popular. Everyone knows. Suddenly ask, if you ask, they know. confusion Okay. So, why actually this English and Hindi were made as the official languages? What is the reason behind that? How many people speak English in India? Everyone. evening class Now, even I, when at the time of independence, what was the percentage? One percentage? Independence time. That is a recent two percent. Or not even one percent. And then now it is, I think, three to four percent, maybe three percent. Huh? Eight. Eight, I think, Jastian said early. Ah. And you are saying that everyone knows English. So, then uh, why it was made? Obviously, you know that the British influence, percent or one percent or whatever, whole India is connected because of English. We cannot deny that. There is a. It united. So, in Karnataka, they were speaking Karana and they were speaking Odisha. They could not communicate in freedom struggle. Because of English, I can also speak English. Now it was possible. So, whole India was united because of English. So, official purpose also, it uh, continues to be so like that. They continued. And they said, after 10 years, uh, 10 or 15 years, we'll discontinue that. Next, Hindi will be the national language. Why Hindi will be the national language? Sorry, why Hindi will be the official language? They are portraying like a national language. Why? <clears throat> Who said that? You know when uh, Hindi took birth? Oh, it's Saura. It's Saura. 200 It is just 200 years old. Canada, Tamil, Telugu, all are 2000. So, exaggeration of Kushin, the Edward and Thirbodo, it's Saura. Okay. 2000 is right thing as per the evidences, but we say that 2500, it's okay. But this is 200. How recently born baby suddenly got the highest seat? Huh? Sorry? No? Are there? Yes, correct. That is power. the powerful people decided who are there. They decide everything. See, at the time of independence, who were there at the hot seat? Who are near to Delhi? Who are having power? Obviously, they what they allow, they will make it. Correct, Allah? So, actually, just 200 to 250, uh, 250 years back, if you go, so all were having their own language. Odisha is having its own language. Gujarati is having its own language. Correct? I am saying that one only, Odisha, Gujarati, each area was having its own language. Each area was having its own language. Then Hindi Barakira Mucha Matar Tirilwami. So everyone is having their own. Yes, language is there. But Hindi started, you know, it's a dominance. Actually, everyone thinks that North India is completely Hindi. No, actually, that was taken control by Hindi. They have their own native languages. Then how this South India is protected? They try to implement Hindi everywhere. Okay. I'm not against any language. Please understand that. This is a disclaimer. 
ఈవెన్ ఐ లవ్ హిందీ ఈవెన్ ఐ హ్యావ్ డన్ మై విశార్ధ పూర్వార్థ ఇన్ హిందీ ఓకే నథింగ్ అగేన్స్ట్ లాంగ్వేజ్ అగేన్స్ట్ ద పీపుల్ హు ఆర్ ఫోర్స్ ఐ హేట్ దట్ ఓకే సో ది ఈవెన్ దే వాంటెడ్ టు కంట్రోల్ హోల్ సౌత్ ఇండియా ఆల్సో లైక్ దట్ సో యూ మస్ట్ సే థ్యాంక్స్ టు తమిళనాడు they said that uh, after 15 years we are going to remove english then only one language will be there. one uh, one nation one language now also they want to promote like that any um, even uh, metro also you know that so first they put boards in hindi and too much protest was there then they removed and now it is in english and uh, kannada so they said the same thing majority are speaking hindi that's why we will make it as a national language so tamil nadu politician said uh, so we in, in india there are many crows so we'll make a crow as the national uh, bird so it was like very furious uh, movement dravida movement if you are imposing like this we will walk out from india make a separate nation dravida movement so then they calm down okay will not only not hindi will put english also its place hmm? who are there in the power who are there you know the all those names sir so obviously say if i was there i will try to okay why can't put kannada that is common quite common when you are in power you will do the same thing i think you either you are there or not in previous class i said there are only two people in this world one is sup- one is suppressors another is suppressed that's what dominant and that is the only thing you na- you are giving different colors to it race caste class names are different that is the only two things there are no other uh, classes in between here either you are suppressor or suppressed you categorize yourself or you are in which group got it so we will give different color everyone wants to have that egalitarian society everyone should be equal it will never happen if it happens nothing will move one king uh, so started uh, doing tapas uh, so god uh, appeared before him what do you want i cannot see the problems of my citizens i want happiness i want to see the happiness they always must be stomach full i can't see the people dying because of uh, that that means they should be wealthy so god gave tatast what happened next so everyone is means no stomach is hungry so some uh, something happened his uh, wall was some uh, about to fall he said why it is like that immediately call and so they are not ready to come why they will come for what they will come no i will give double salary what they will do with that okay so he started seeing everywhere the same thing nobody is there nobody is coming to even military also why you have to sacrifice my life okay they have started leaving the army so he started his uh, kingdom is about to collapse and again he started tapas please restore as it is then everything became normal so that is how it is it will not run yaar if everyone becomes dc who will become uh, office boy who will become group c group c d so that uh, system has to run system has to run everyone should be there but degrade should be there it should not like you were below and uh, oh you may need to maintain that so respect them okay so this is the story so finally they approved after that also they first they wanted to drop this after 15 years But then they continued english and all are official languages only no doubt about it but these two are recognized at the national level just for the communication purpose whole nation should have one there is no national language only official languages these are also official languages only so but in this list english is not there the reason is english is not a ha uh, uh, is the indian language indian language this is a list of indian language then uh, which family it belongs to english Hmm? family family okay uh, tamil kannada all this belongs to family gotilla hmm? dravida family kannada tamil malayalam okay all are dravida family so then uh, english 
indo european language indo european language it is the biggest group in whole world not just english that is a big family so english is also in the same family sanskrit also in the same family hindi is also in the same family only brothers are fighting hindi versus english okay you can observe that in sanskrit what is number 3 3 only sanskrit also 3 english also 3 okay bhatru brother matru mother okay same family only then only it is there you cannot sanskrit and kannada if you compare it's completely different there are two different families okay so all south indian languages almost belongs to dravida language but when tamil nadu stood like anything so they dropped it but slowly they are doing so they want to actually three language formula is there they must adhere only south indian uh, states are adhering first language kannada second english third hindi correct no but uh, north indians only adopting two language hindi and english they are supposed to take one more regional language from south that is the three language formula we adopted but they are not caring for that and expecting only south indians to learn everything and they are uh, ex- uh, forcing to learn hindi i am saying they are also already suppressed they are their language itself is gone only hindi is dominating so they, everyone need to understand this okay language should grow should not suppress so anyway remember this thing what is the eighth schedule is all about languages okay 22 are there some are not there be careful he will add that he will add that and ask next is ninth schedule what is this ninth schedule is about okay see for example this is america okay america says we will not do any exploitation here we treat everyone equal so everyone will be respected no violence will be taken place poor stays in this america okay so then really america is not uh, doing any like uh, you know uh, investigation kind of thing or harassing someone for uh, security purpose then if they are doing how they can tell this they are doing not in america they will take them to gantomovia and uh, they will do that so that is not part of usa so what we are telling okay ashtu hogak beda in class i will not scold anyone ಅರ್ಥಾಯ್ತಾ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಹೊರಗಡೆ ಅವ್ರು ಸ್ಕೋಲ್ಡ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಸೊ ಮೈ ಪ್ರಾಮಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬ್ರೋಕನ್ ಸೊ ಮೇಂಟೈನಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಹಂಗೆ ಹೇಳ್ಬೋದಲ್ಲ ಸೇಮ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ದೇ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಡೂ ದೇ ವಿಲ್ ಡೂ ಬಟ್ ನಾಟ್ ಇನ್ ದೇರ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಸಮ್ ಎಂಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ನೋ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ಯು ಎಸ್ ಐ ಇಸ್ ಮೇಂಟೈನಿಂಗ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ದ ನೈನ್ ಸ್ಕೆಡ್ಯೂಲ್ you know that parliament is having the power to question judiciary question, question means control judiciary judiciary controls the parliament okay whatever parliament makes judiciary will be always holding the gun something wrong bishum so for that purpose the parliament has you know invented this nine schedule basket so first declared whatever i am going to put in ninth schedule you are not supposed to touch exception got it i will do something i know that that is wrong according to constitution but you check whatever is outside you do it but not in this ninth schedule what made them to do so and why supreme court accepted okay you do it any guess what may be the reason for that hmm what may be the reason for that why that's what why that le- uh, lenience why that lenience artha ita i'm saying no control on it you are saying that uh, want to have control on hmm? ninth schedule ninth schedule means usually what whatever law i make i am a parliament whatever law i make supreme court 
क्वेश्चंस पे नाउ आई एम मेकिंग वन एक्स्ट्रा लॉ आई विल पुट समथिंग इन दैट डस्टबिन यू डोंट चेक दैट डस्टबिन यू चेक एवरीवेयर यू टेक एक्शन एनीवे दैट डस्टबिन यू शुड नॉट टच ओके सो व्हाट यूजुअली यू डू आई इट्स माय राइट आई विल चेक एवरीवेयर सो आई एम सेइंग एक्सेप्ट दैट डस्टबिन यू चेक एवरीवेयर गॉट इट सो व्हाई सुप्रीम कोर्ट केप्ट साइलेंट even though i am saying like that well, it said okay because i am doing with a good intention what is that good intention for example before independence zamindars were there mahal warise were there they were having thousands of acres of land and indian many people are not even having one gunt of land and these people are having thousands of acres of land i want to do roads i want to build bridge i want to do something good for them i want to acquire that land if i acquire the kanakrithi's land she will go to court this is my fundamental right this government so if i if everyone is doing like this as a government how can i help people please give me excuses for such laws it violates no i know that i know it violates their fundamental right but i am not taking everything 1000 acres from there wherever required i will take i am not hurting their livelihood or something other for other benefit other benefit of other citizens i am making some rules you must accept see one way sir, is it a good thing for everyone you people will be uh, you know hidi shop akond hogta irthiru sut tarkon barbekalla ant but it is for who, who, whose benefit neeve akadinda barbekar you will be happy ha ah, no one is coming from opposite so for everyone's benefit that rule is required so that's why supreme court felt happy okay we are doing good thing ultimate goal is citizens happiness for that some people are sacrificing it's okay sacrifice means not that to is very heavy one so part of their uh, property they are giving i accept yaar go ahead but uh, the moment i got no first i kept only small dustbin later i will put this much then i will put this much dot big dustbin you don't touch anyway as you said right i will not check in the dustbin then i will put whole uh, room itself as a dust that much big dustbin that means you should not touch it. okay so court got uh, irritated nonsense i said for good things i accepted it waited waited it keep on doing the same thing in 1973 it gave verdict now onwards i will check your dustbin now till now mafi i will not uh, touch that again uh, so many complications will be there from april 24 1973 onwards uh, you put i am not telling that you don't put on the health i will check their arms if you are wrong there i will shoot their arms till now exception was given now onwards i will not so this is the story of nine schedule see here you can easily understand bihar land reform act they wanted to take the land arthakti diyala see everywhere almost they are talking about taking some power some land property all those things only artha aita id story nine story was nine schedule was like a exception it was a separate basket blanket nive ella kada check maadi al bitu ulididella check maadkoli ant okay so now after 1973 april 24 that is the verdict date of keshavananda that case date now onwards i will not tolerate this you put in nine schedule or outside it doesn't matter to me i will come and check because you are misusing like anything okay earlier you said only for citizen benefit now you are for your benefit also you are doing so many things like that it did is it clear so so many acts were put in nine schedule to protect itself from questioning supreme court cannot question that yaru artha agilla matte keli elli sahana bandile avto okay no idea hmm nine en cover madidro ha huh? current affairs okay. so is it clear nine schedule was created for this purpose and now there is no special immunity for that supreme court checks that also so then comes the uh, next is 10th schedule 
ಕಾಣಿಸ್ತಿದ್ಯಾ ಆಲ್ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಎಲ್ಲಿ ಹೋದ್ರು ಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ರಿಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ರಿಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ರಿಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಸಿ ಹೌ ಮೆನಿ ದೇ ಆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ದೇ ಹವ್ ಪುಟ್ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ಬಾಸ್ಕೆಟ್ ಯು ಇಮ್ಯಾಜಿನ್ ಓಕೆ ಟೆನ್ ಸ್ಕೆಡ್ಯೂಲ್ ಟೆನ್ ಸ್ಕೆಡ್ಯೂಲ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಟೆನ್ ಸ್ಕೆಡ್ಯೂಲ್ ಸೊ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಆರ್ ಜಂಪಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಿ ಟು ಪಾರ್ಟಿ ಲೈಕ್ ಮಂಕೀಸ್ ದೇ ವಿಲ್ ವಿನ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಸಮ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಿ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದಟ್ ಅದರ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಿ ಸೇಸ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ ಚೀಫ್ ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಸಡನ್ಲಿ ದೇ ವಿಲ್ ಜಂಪ್ ಟು ದಟ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಿ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಓಕೆ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಸೋ ಮೆನಿ ಸುಟ್ ಕೇಸಸ್ ಸೊ ಜಂಪಿಂಗ್ ಒನ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಿ ಟು ಅದರ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಿ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಗುಡ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಪ್ಲೇಯಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಫೇತ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ so i am so i am voting him because he is contesting from party some party or because of some reason and he suddenly is changing party so this was like rampant in so many cases continuously it has happened now also it is happening they know some different routes they have not stopped doing it they know the different routes okay you chape kelu thuridre avaru rangole kelage neevu rangole kelu thuridre avaru crushed mental core ಎಲ್ಲ ಕಡೆಗೂ ತೋರ್ಕೊಂಬರ್ತಾರೆ ದೇ ನೋ ಹೌ ಟು ಪ್ಲೇ ವಿತ್ ದಿಸ್ ಓಕೆ ನೀವೇನೋ ಮಾಡ್ತೀರಾ ದೇ ವಿಲ್ ಫೈಂಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಓನ್ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲಾಸ್ ಮೆಜಾರಿಟಿ ಶುಡ್ ರೂಲ್ ಅವನಿಗೆ ಮೂವತ್ತೈದು ಇವನಿಗೆ ಮೂವತ್ತೈದು ಬಂದೆ ನಂದೇ ಮೆಜಾರಿಟಿ ಬಂದು ನಾವಿಬ್ರು ಸೇರ್ಕೊಂಡು ರೂಲ್ ನೈದರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಮೆಜಾರಿಟಿ ನಟ್ ದ ದಟ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಇಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಮೆಜಾರಿಟಿ ಬಟ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ರೂಲಿಂಗ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಅರ್ಥ ಆಯ್ತಾ ನೂರು ಬಂದವನ ಸೈಡಿಗೆ ಕುತ್ಕೊಂಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಇವ್ರು ಮೂವತ್ತೈದು ನಲವತ್ತೈದು ಬಂದವರು they are administering now in what way it is correct parliament has done some law you should have majority so that people should accept you with their what you should rule but what is happening he is not getting majority i am not saying that it is correct but those who are even below that avane 110 idave avanige 35 avanige 70 idru yes they show that together it is a majority ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಹದಿನೈದು ಮಾರ್ಸು ಇವ್ರಿಗೆ ಇಪ್ಪತ್ತು ಮಾರ್ಸು ಟುಗೆದರ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಮಾರ್ಸ್ ಸರ್ ಟುಗೆದರ್ ವಿ ಪಾಸ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಅಲ್ವಾ ಯು ಪಿ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ಮುಂದೆ ಒಂದು ಹಾಕಿ ಸರ್ ಮೈ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಪೇಪರ್ ಪಾಸ್ಟ್ ಸರ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಪೇಪರ್ ಪಾಸ್ಟ್ ಟುಗೆದರ್ ವಿ ಬೋತ್ ಪಾಸ್ಟ್ ಅಲೋ ಅಷ್ಟು ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಫೈನ್ ನೋ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಅಡ್ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟರ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅಡ್ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟ್ರೇಷನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಡಿಫರೆನ್ಸ್ you are allowing a higher post hello even one lower post we are also executives they are permanent uh, temporary executives we are permanent executives okay at least combined one you allow anyway fun apart but how actually you will find the ways you want majority right will prove it some how will prove it okay so you are lo- you know again as the faith of the people you are jumping the party want to punish you so that is called as defection defection you are uh, doing wrong so that's why anti defection law was passed and that provisions are mentioned in the 10th schedule okay so those who have already attended the class they know what are the provisions how how they will punish and those who are not it will come okay is it clear so simple things not so difficult only four provisions are so you are uh, winning from uh, one party and uh, leaving that and joining other party you will be punished or you are uh, nominated member not elected member and uh, imme- if immediately if you join no problem but you are joining after 6 months then you will be punished you are independent candidate and you are joining a party that is also again as the faith so you will be disqualified and one more ಯಾರು ಬೇಟ ಹಾಂ ಯುವರ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಿ ಇಸ್ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಟುಮಾರೋ ಡೋಂಟ್ ವೋಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸೇ ಯು ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವೋಟಿಂಗ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಅಷ್ಟ ಬಿಹೇವಿಯರ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಯುವರ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಿ ಸೊ ಅಲ್ಟಿಮೇಟ್ಲಿ ಯು ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ವಿತ್ ಏನೋ ವೈ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಸೆಲೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಯು ಸೊ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಫೇತ್ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಫಾಲೋ ದಟ್ ಸೊ ಯು ಆರ್ ಆಕ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಅಷ್ಟ್ ದಟ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಅಂಟಿ ಡಿಫೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಸೊ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಲೂಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ಪೊಸಿಷನ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ ಎಂ ಪಿ ಆರ್ ಎಮ್ ಎಲ್ ಎ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಲೂಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸೀಟ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಂಟಿ ಡಿಫೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಲಾ ಸೊ ಟೆನ್ತ್ ಸ್ಕೆಡ್ಯೂಲ್ got it
ಸ್ಪೀಕರ್ ಅಪ್ಪ ಯಾಕಪ್ಪ ಸ್ಪೀಕರ್ ಹ್ಮ್ ಬೆಳತಂಕ ರಾಮಾಯಣ ಕೇಳೋದು ಹ್ಮ್ ಏನಪ್ಪ ದುರ್ಯೋಧನ ಹೆಂಡ್ತಿ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಸೀತೆ ಹ್ಮ್ ಸೊ ಹಾ ಹೌದಾ ನಂಗೆ ನಂಗ್ ಅನಿಸ್ತಿಲ್ಲ ಹಿಂಗ್ ನಿನ್ ಸ್ಪೀಕರ್ ಹೇಳೋ ಬದ್ಲು ನೀನ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಕಮಿಷನ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಮತ್ ನನಗ್ ಹಂಗೆ ಅನ್ಸುತ್ತ ಅಲ್ಲ ಹಂಗ ನನ್ನ ಅನ್ಸರ್ ಅಲ್ಲ ಅದು ನಿಮ್ಮ ಅನ್ಸರ್ ಓಕೆ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಟೆನ್ ಸ್ಕೆಡ್ಯೂಲ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಅಂಡ್ ಲೆವೆಂತ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಟ್ವೆಲ್ತ್ ಟುಗೆದರ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಆಡೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ನೈನ್ಟೀನ್ ನೈನ್ಟಿ ಟು ಸೆವೆಂಟಿ ತರ್ಡ್ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸೆವೆಂಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಅಮೆಂಡ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಚೇಂಜ್ ದೇ ಆಡೆಡ್ ಪಂಚಾಯತ್ ರಾಜ್ ಒನ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಲೋಕಲ್ ಗವರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಆಡೆಡ್ ಟಿಲ್ ನೌ ವಿ ಸಾ ಸೆಂಟ್ರಲ್ ಗವರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಗವರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ನೌ ಅನದರ್ ಟೈಯರ್ ವಾಸ್ ಆಡೆಡ್ ಸೆಂಟ್ರಲ್ ಗವರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಗವರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಲೋಕಲ್ ಗವರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಲೋಕಲ್ ಗವರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ ವಿಲೇಜಸ್ ಪಂಚಾಯತ್ ಇನ್ ಸಿಟೀಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅರ್ಬನ್ ಲೋಕಲ್ ಗವರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ನೇಮ್ಸ್ ಯು ನೋ ದಟ್ ಸಮ್ ಸಮನ್ ಸೇ ಕಾರ್ಪೊರೇಷನ್ ಸಮನ್ ಸೇ ಮುನ್ಸಿಪಾಲಿಟಿ ಸಮನ್ ಸೇ ನಗರ್ ಪಂಚಾಯತ್ ಸಮನ್ ಸೇ ಟೌನ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ಮೆನಿ ನೇಮ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ದೇರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ದಟ್ ಇನ್ ಲೋಕಲ್ ಗವರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಲೆವೆನ್ ಸ್ಕೆಡ್ಯೂಲ್ ಈಸ್ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ಲಿ ಟಾಕಿಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಪಂಚಾಯತ್ ರಾಜ್ ಟ್ವೆಲ್ತ್ ಸ್ಕೆಡ್ಯೂಲ್ ಈಸ್ ಟಾಕಿಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಅರ್ಬನ್ ಲೋಕ ಅರ್ಬನ್ ಗವರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಟೋಟಲಿ ಹೌ ಮೆನಿ ಲೀಸ್ಟ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ನೌ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ನೈನ್ಟೀನ್ ನೈನ್ಟಿ ಒನ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಫೈವ್ ಲೀಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ಯೂನಿಯನ್ ಲೀಸ್ಟ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಲೀಸ್ಟ್ ಕಾನ್ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಲೀಸ್ಟ್ ಪಂಚಾಯತ್ ಲೀಸ್ಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅರ್ಬನ್ ಲೀಸ್ಟ್ ಬಟ್ ದೀಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಸ್ಕೆಡ್ಯೂಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ ಲೆವೆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ ಟ್ವೆಲ್ತ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟಾ ಸೊ ಟೋಟಲಿ ಫೈವ್ ಲೀಸ್ಟ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಪಂಚಾಯತ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಡೂ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಪಂಚಾಯತ್ ಲೀಸ್ಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಆಸ್ ಐ ಸೆಡ್ ದೇ ಆಸ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಎಷ್ಟು ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ದೇ ಕಂಬೈಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ಲೀಸ್ಟ್ ವಿತ್ ರೆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ ಟು ಎಜುಕೇಶನ್ ವೇರ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ಡ್ ಎಜುಕೇಶನ್ ಇನ್ ಕಾನ್ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಲೀಸ್ಟ್ ಬಟ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಹಿಯರ್ ಐ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಶೋ ಯು ವೇರ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ಡ್ ಸಿ ನೈಸ್ಲಿ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಮೆನ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ ಕಾನ್ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಓವರ್ ನೋ ಈವನ್ ಪಂಚಾಯತಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಲುಕ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದ ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ಪಂಚಾಯತ್ ಏರಿಯಾ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ಹಿ ಆಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಓನ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಹಿ ಗೇವ್ ಸಮ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ಸ್ ಯು ಐಡೆಂಟಿಫೈ ವೇರ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ ಅರ್ಥ ಆಗುತ್ತಾ ಸಿ ಹೆಲ್ತ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸ್ಯಾನಿಟೇಷನ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಓಕೆ ಹೆಲ್ತ್ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ ಕಾನ್ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೂಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಅರ್ ವೇರ್ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಎರಡು ಕಡೆಗೂ ಇದೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ದಲ್ಲ ಇಲ್ಲೂ ಇದೆ ಅಲ್ಲೂ ಇದೆ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಗೊತ್ತು ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಗಳನ್ನ ಹೆಂಗ್ ಕೇಳ್ಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ನಿಮ್ ಫೋಕಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿರುತ್ತೆ ಅದನ್ನ ಟಿಕ್ ಹೊಡೆದಿರ್ತೀರ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಟೂ ಅಂಡ್ ತ್ರೀನೂ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಟೂ ಒನ್ಲಿನೂ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಸೊ ಸೇಮ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ನೈನ್ ಆರ್ ದೇರ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಲೆವೆನ್ ಸ್ಕೆಡ್ಯೂಲ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ನೈನ್ ಟಾಸ್ಕ್ ಆರ್ ಅಸೈನ್ ಟು ಪಂಚಾಯತ್ ಏಟೀನ್ ಟಾಸ್ಕ್ ಆರ್ ಅಸೈನ್ ಟು ಅರ್ಬನ್ ಲೋಕಲ್ ಬಾಡೀಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಟ್ವೆಲ್ತ್ ಸ್ಕೆಡ್ಯೂಲ್ ಫೈನ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಸ್ಕೆಡ್ಯೂಲ್ಸ್
ಕ್ವಾಲಿಟಿ ಎಷ್ಟದಪ್ಪ ಎಫ್ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಟಿ ಎಷ್ಟನೇದ್ರಿ ಅಂತ ಕೇಳಿದೆ ಪೇಜ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಹ್ಮ್ ನೀವು ಬುಕ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಅಂತಲ್ವಾ ಹ್ಮ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಪೇಪರ್ ಬುಕ್ ಓಪನ್ ಮಾಡಲ್ಲ ಅಂತ Yes. Which of the following schedules of constitution contains provisions regarding anti-defection? 10th schedule. Which, uh, hmm, here answer 18. If new state of the Indian Union is to be created which one of the following schedules of the constitution must be amended first ninth schedule of the indian constitution was added by if you are smart you will answer first because immediately after independence they felt that need okay so first amendment is anyway amendments also will study separately but same question he asked again who was the prime minister uh, at that time of uh, ninth schedule yarappa first schedule ag first agbeku andre in yaar id yaar Prime Minister, Nehru, same question they asked. Hmm. Which of the constitution names of states, uh, states and specific, uh, again, first one. All right, yes, questions, Kelly, the notice schedule, a small topic is there, but how many questions are asked in that? ತರ್ಟಿ ನೈನ್ ಇದಾಗಿದೆ ಅನ್ಕೋತೀನಿ ಆಗಿದೆ ಅಲ್ಲಪ್ಪ ಎದ್ದು ಹೇಳಕ್ ಯೋಶ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಿದ್ರ ಇಷ್ಟು ಓದ್ಬೇಕಾ ಹಾ ಸೊ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ದೇರ್ ತ್ರೀ ನೈಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಆರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ದೇರ್ ಇದ್ ದಸ್ ದೀಸ್ ನೈನ್ ಟೆನ್ ಲೆವೆನ್ ಟೆಲ್ ಅವರ್ ಲೇಟರ್ ಆಡೆಡ್ ಸೊ ತ್ರೀ ತ್ರೀ ಓದ್ಲಿ Okay, 47. Administration of control scheduled areas and 5th. C. S. A. and S. C. T. A. is in 6th. So, a word and email help. If you don't have 5, you can get 6. If you don't have confusion, you can get confused. Okay. 
ಅದ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರು ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಹೌ ಹಿ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ಯೂನಿಯನ್ ಲಿಸ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಸ್ಕೆಡ್ಯೂಲ್ ಯಾವ ಯಾವ್ದು ಇದೆ ಈಸಿಲಿ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಗೆಸ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಯು ನೋ ದಟ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಅಪಾನ್ ಅವರ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಶನ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ದಟ್ ಏ ಸಿ ಅಗ್ರಿಕಲ್ಚರ್ ಐ ಸೆಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಓಕೆ ಫಿಶರೀಸ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಗ್ರಿಕಲ್ಚರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅಲೈಡ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಒಂದು ಪಬ್ಲಿಕ್ ಹೆಲ್ತ್ ವಿ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಸೊ ಎ ಇಸ್ ದ ರೈಟ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಫಾರ್ಟ್ ಯಾವ್ದಪ್ಪ ವಿ ಒಂಗ್ ದ ಫಾಲೋಯಿಂಗ್ ವಾಸ್ ದ ಚೇರ್ಮನ್ ಆಫ್ ಯೂನಿಯನ್ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಷನ್ ನೀವ್ ಹೇಳ್ಬೇಕಪ್ಪ ಯು ಸಿ ಸಿ ಯಾರು ಯೂನಿಯನ್ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಕಮಿಟಿ ಯಾರು ಮರ್ತ ಹೋಯ್ತು ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಇರ ನಾಲ್ಕು ಜನ ಅಂಬೇಡ್ಕರ್ ಪಟೇಲ್ ರಾಜೇಂದ್ರ ಪ್ರಸಾದ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ನೆಹರು ಹ್ಮ್ ಯಾರು ಯೂನಿಯನ್ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಕಮಿಟಿ ನೆಹರು ನೆಹರು ಇರೋದ ಎಂಟು ಮಗ ಮಾಡಿ ಇಟ್ಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದೀನಿ ಫೋರ್ಟಿ ಫೋರ್ಟಿ ಏಟ್ ತೀಸ್ ಹಾ ಓಕೆ which of the four languages are added to eight schedule thereby rising their number to 22 yav amendment sir that is the current affairs because of that year they raised it so that's why they are asking okay ಸಿ ಇನ್ನೂ ಕಾಂಪ್ಲಿಕೇಟೆಡ್ ಇದೇ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ನಾನು ಏನ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡಿದ್ದು ನಾವು ವೇರ್ ದ ಎಜುಕೇಶನ್ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಒನ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ವೆರಿ ಶೋರ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೆವೆಂತ್ ಸ್ಕೆಡ್ಯೂಲ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೆವೆಂತ್ ಇಸ್ ಪಕ್ಕ ನೌ ಎಲ್ಲದ್ರಲ್ಲೂ ಫೈವ್ ಇದೆ ಹಿ ನೋಸ್ ದಟ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ವಿಲ್ ಈಸಿಲಿ ರೆಕಗ್ನೈಸ್ ದಟ್ ಸೊ ರಿಮೇನಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ನು ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಆಗಿಲ್ಲ ಸಮ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಬಟ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ತ್ರೀ ಫೋರ್ ಫೈವ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ಒನ್ ಟು ಫೈವ್ ಒನ್ ಟು ಫೈವ್ ಸಿ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ನೌ ಐ ಸೆಡ್ ಓಕೆ ಟು ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ನೌ ವಿ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಟು ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ದೇರ್ ಫಿಫ್ತ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಡಿ ಪಿ ಎಸ್ ಪಿ ಸುಮ್ಮನೆ ಕೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೇನೆ ಔಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಓಕೆ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ನಾಟ್ ಗಾನ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಇನ್ ಡಿಟೇಲ್ ಫಿಫ್ತ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸ್ಕೆಡ್ಯೂಲ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಏನು ಸ್ಕೆಡ್ಯೂಲ್ ಏರಿಯಾ ಏನು ಅಡ್ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟ್ರೇಷನ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಅಡ್ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟರ್ ದಟ್ ಏರಿಯಾ ವಿಥೌಟ್ ಎಜುಕೇಶನ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಅಡ್ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಆರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ಯುವರ್ ಅಡ್ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟ್ರೇಷನ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ದೇರ್ ಎಸ್ ಆರ್ ನೋ ಸೊ ದೇರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಡಿ ಪಿ ಎಸ್ ಪಿ ಎಸ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೆನ್ಶನ್ ಸೊ ಆಲ್ ಆರ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಓಕೆ Hmm. 64. If you are thinking, sir, the age old question you were showing till now, 2000, 1995-98, this is 2014 question, again he is copy pasting the same question, without even one small word change. Believe me, 20 questions will be framed from the old questions only. that's why i always say solve world question solve world question okay again see schedules how much it is important it is there is 12 schedules but how many questions are asked again one more question fifth schedule and sixth schedule is related to which is a tumba simple kottidane now you know it is like protect the interest of the scheduled tribes determine the boundaries between sorry sir powers and authority of panchayat no protect the interest of all the border states tumne katha odidina now only we discussed 5th and 6th schedule huh? is about scheduled area scheduled tribe and tribal areas okay so ultimately that is about tribal things so a is the only option ಯು 
even more questions are there it is up to 17 even 18 19 20 21 22 even more questions are there you can even say that questions idya hmm? yes yes okay idra heli this is simple only so it is on the expected lines only they will ask such questions hmm. Sir, one eighty-seven question. Uh, just tell me what is the question? Under which schedule of the Constitution of India can the transfer hmm. of tribal land to private parties for mining be declared null and void? Okay. So in which schedule the transfer of land from tribal areas to tribal areas with respect to mining land is mentioned in which schedule? Options. Options uh, third. 5th, 9th, 12th. 3, 9th, 5, 12th. 5, 12th. Mm -hmm. So you know that 9th is about uh, acquiring the land for a development purpose, something. See, that notion is important. Without knowing the exact answer, also easily you can point out, sir, this should be the answer. So intelligent guessing is what is required for the exam. But you people only guess. Uh -huh. Without intelligence. Hello, Dapa. Hello, Darta. Hello. Where is preamble? Anyway, time is less, so I'll cover this small topic, reservation. Next class, I can start preamble. Hmm? So what is reservation? It's okay, collect handouts later. Hmm? Why reservation is given? Among hmm? all citizens of India. Okay. So, why inequality was there? So, we all know that story in the first uh, uh, chapter itself. We discussed since from the beginning, 2000 years back, this caste system, how it evolved from the Varna system and uh, PDF. Okay. 
so how it evolved how the caste system exploited how we won the british time so just a recap like how uh, even ambedkar asked a separate he was ready to accept a separate electorate for depressed class but because of gandhi fasting so finally they came to an agreement so will uh, give reservation to you people so you don't leave hindu group okay so that was the result of pune pact okay forget about this the topic is why actually really is reservation going to help for example if you put reservation in space you want to launch a rocket huh? so if you whether you should give importance to merit or reservation merit okay so certain areas are there where merit only makes sense and there are certain areas for example if somebody is allowed in the classroom because of reservation extra is it going to harm others definitely not so they are sitting along with them correct what is the problem 10 people are sitting another two people will be from the reservation it is going to benefit everyone so if i am teaching you they will also listen you will also listen so what is that problem so it is going to benefit everyone how about job reservation how about job reservation yes is a interesting topic ankotini maatadabodala in education it's not going to harm sir uh, if five uh, if five seats are not reserved other people will come merit on the basis of merit and study put five more chairs what is your problem education alli irta idin nan you can put five chairs what is the problem sir school another 100 is there open one more school what is your problem let everyone study so that is not an issue how about i jobs why no why no ಓಕೆ ಫೈನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ವಾಟ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಇಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನಿಂಗ್ then how to uplift those people how to uplift those people matadbeko how to uplift those people my question is how to if suppose if she is saying that the you know opportunity is taken from someone else okay let us not give only merit basis you are giving how to uplift them tell me the solution <clears throat> just by giving his bread and butter will not be done by educate he need job he then need only education. take care of his family he can take care of their children they will study they will come forward so what is the solution you give alternative if you remove that you must be saying some uh, solution right matadi erda avaru ashta illa ಅನದರ್ ಟು ಒನ್ ಮೈಸ್ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ನೈಂಟಿ ಅನದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ಏಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಹ್ಞೂ ಅದೇ ಎರಡು ಸೀಟ್ ಇದೆ ಇನ್ ಎಜುಕೇಶನ್ ಐ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ಯು ಪುಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಾ ಚೇರ್ಸ್ ಬಟ್ ಇನ್ ಜಾಬ್ಸ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನಟ್ ಡೂ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಮನಿ ಆರ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನಟ್ ಡೂ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ಒನ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಪುಟಿಂಗ್ ನೈಂಟಿ ಅನದರ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಇಸ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಒನ್ ನೀವು ಅಡಿ ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ಏನು ಹೊಸದು ಹೇಳಿದ್ರಿ ಹ್ಞೂ ವೈ see how then how you are uplifting them 
how you are uplifting them this is very sensitive topic you should be very careful especially in interview okay i hope i have told one story a lady went to interview they asked for women reservation is required or not she said no not required we are equally capable we are strong enough see i am i am here means any lady can come here so not required she got 70 75 out of 300 now it is 275 next year she went and uh, now we'll discuss that what to answer <laughs> then she got uh, 200 about 200 okay same board came same question they asked to the same lady okay so she said you no know, reservation should be given it is important for women to uplift them so she explained whatever things so what made the difference earlier what was wrong with her answer other than other point out point what was wrong with her answer forget about that what is wrong with her answer one is okay again as well, a constitution enamma ellarigu equal provision sikkirala sir kelabru economically weak section good ille answer ene ha very good see that single lady cannot become all so many people so many you know women are like a uh, lot of problems they are facing okay so just because she is getting opportunity or just because she is having the strength everyone will not get the same strength unless some system supports them so you are supposed to be the leader not individual you are unfit to be a leader for that purpose they sent her back you are unfit to be a leader if you become a officer so you will not care, take care of the women coming over there okay so you should think of not yourself it should about others so she identified and uh, means obviously after coming discussion happened so why, what and unfortunately she went in reservation how they she expect that uh, they will give marks she applied even in reservation quota and she is telling that reservation is not required what else she oh, expect at least if you adan bit odru at least at least she is confident and has marks so reservation it is not just economic concept please understand it is a social concept even if you become a dc okay people will not uh, even today they may allow you just because you are a dc after that also they will do you know shuddhi correct gomutra ela tan bitto ಶುದ್ಧ ಆಯ್ತು ಇವನ್ ಟುಡೇ ದ ಎರಡು ಕಾಂತಾರದಲ್ಲ ಅವ್ನು ಮಾಡ ಮಾಡ ನೋಡಿಲ್ವಾ ಇನ್ ಕಾಂತಾರ ಅಟ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಹಿ ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ರಿಚುವಲ್ ರೈಟ್ ವೆನ್ ಹಿ ಶಿವ ಎಂಟರ್ಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಹೌಸ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಲಿವಿಂಗ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ದೇವರ್ ಕ್ಲೀನಿಂಗ್ ದೇರ್ ಹೌಸ್ ಶುದ್ಧಿ ಕಾರ್ಯ ಈವನ್ ಟುಡೇ ಪೀಪಲ್ ವಿಲ್ ಡೂ ದಟ್ ಫಾರ್ಗೆಟ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಶಿವ ಶಿವ ಇಸ್ ಅ ವೆರಿ ನಾರ್ಮಲ್ ಆರ್ಡಿನರಿ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ದೇರ್ ಈವನ್ ಡಿ ಸಿ ಗೋಸ್ ಟು ಸಂಬಡಿಸ್ ಹೌಸ್ ಲೇಟರ್ ದೇ ವಿಲ್ ಕ್ಲೀನ್ ದೇರ್ ಹೌಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸೊ when that is the situation so when they will treat them equally at least because of their power because of their status at least they are allowing them to that extent if that is also not there they will never be treated equally so that is important it is not about money please understand it's about dignity our constitution gives us you know dignified life okay so to ensure that this reservation is somewhat helping it is not just about money everyone is thinking sir they are good they are uh, uplifted they are having money everything whether the social status is it same still people look at you know somewhat different level a brahmana he may be poor what is the respect given to him in the society respect i am talking not money they are not giving money respect is good so people are worried about the dignity first rest is uh, everything is remaining okay i'm not telling that for economically they should not give for that also already it is there ews i'm not talking that part economically also reservation should be given i accept that side but this reservation before abolishing remember the history remember the promises made why actually pona pact was made otherwise these depressed class people were about to leave hindu community like muslims like sikhs like christians they were also having their own identity so to 
give back their dignity this reservation is important you must tell this in the interview it is not about money sir i am not talking about misuse misuse always you condemn it many people will to uh, try no change their uh, community just for the benefit of reservation i am not talking about i am always against misuse for that you take action or within the same community again and again the same family is getting benefit give preference you change that 10 ascst families are there three families are again and again getting first you give preference to first time takers later you if the seats are available give to them fine so this is about dignity to ensure their level playing field with everyone so the reservation concept equality may be a fiction but nonetheless one must accept it as a governing principle so i also said earlier egalitarian society is impossible but at least we must say that that should be our aim then we can at least minimize the problems in the society this much divide is there at least we can reduce to this much we cannot avoid it so he is also almost say exactly saying equality may be fiction correct even i am have the having the same opinion it's a fiction impossible you will never see even rama comes and rules also you will never see equality that is just on the ideology we on the aim irbekalwa 100 nobody will score 100 but that 100 should be there aim to move from 50 to 60 60 to 65 65 to 70 70 to 75 100 is always uh, not reachable upc in 10th you might have scored 100 100 there is no meaning to it huh even 100 years cross also forget about 100 i have let, let them cross 65 okay anyway so nandal one must accept it as a governing principle so yes it must be there how to achieve equality so reservation is the hope it is not big boss chair all of you are sitting there somebody is sitting here he is asking sir nango on chair back it is his right so give him on chair okay so assume that he is a handicapped person physically disabled person so what i have what we have to do not only me what we have to do and you do that i know that we know that blind students whenever they visit i have observed everyone will help them correct so you will take them where we have to go so correct no so that is our duty enabling them to sit in that seat just by seats are given right come and sit means that that process is there no making them to come to that seat and sit so that is the reservation concept help them they are not if they are asking we want big boss chair no we are not here to give big boss chair we are all here he is below please give him some push give him some rope pull him sit with us that is the aim ashta yelenu illa nam jothe kutkolanga maado kelsa misuse bage maatadta illa nanu misuse yes you condemn it you uh, make the rules in such a fashion that that misuse will be stopped okay just because knife is misuse uh, knife is being misused we cannot stop selling the knives in the market correct so we will control it so here what is happening what is happening in the first figure what is happening here all have got purchased tickets to the match and pay paying 100 rupees each what is happening to the third person he is unable to see the match what is the purpose of that uh, purchasing ticket to see the match but he could not do we call it as equality sir see three chairs or three tables are given exactly of the same size shape everything so people argue the same in the same manner every all schools are open for them everything is open for them why can't they come and study like us do you know her their family condition your four 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 fathers have land they did not allow those person to have land if they were also allowed they would also have some property to support their livelihood just because you did that injustice okay so these people are suffering now in worst case you will sell that property and you will somehow survive what they have to do 
So is it not our responsibility to correct that historical injustice done to them? We have to correct that injustice, right? In a family, four uh, so children are there. One is physically handicapped. How the father and mother will treat? Other three are going for working. One is uh, DC, one is a uh, software engineer, another is... Uh, huh? How they will treat uh, other person? You are not working anymore. Get out of the house. Like that they will say. say. The first feed they will give to that child. Not to these earning people. Why? Because he cannot do. It is not that we have so much love and affection towards that person, that uh, children, not to other people. Yeah. They have love and affection to all children, but more care is towards uh, the weaker person. Just because he is in equal with you, he cannot do the, on his own. So he needs some support. So that support is reservation. Without that, it is like a family. Say, sir, we are suffering. Correct. How much they suffered? Sir, what is the logic behind that? They suffered, so we have to suffer. No. We are not telling that. Let us try to bring equality, then remove this. Then, whether have you achieved that equality? Not yet. This should be our answer. We have not achieved that yet. Once it is achieved, yes, let us remove everything. Only then you make on the basis of merit. It will not happen, I know that. But what, what is the aim? Till when uh, you want to continue? Till what time you want to continue this system? Until that equality, somewhat equal, not like complete uh, difference. Then somewhat, okay, all are respected in the society, same society, everyone is getting the opportunity. Then we can remove this caste-based reservation. The debate is about caste-based reservation. This economic reservation should be there for like until everyone become economically equal. I am talking about socially equal. Reservation is about bringing social equality, not economic equality. Oh, no, two types are there. To bring social equality, reservation is given. Now in India, prominent is social. E recently, EWC is there. Based upon your economic condition, reservation is given. Okay. So their aim is to bring economic equality. Here, social equality. Sir, is it achieved? No. Why women reservation should be given? The same reason. Whether women is completely equivalent to men in this society? No, sir. More than that. Huh? Only these women are like that. There are so many billions of millions of people, not billions. Millions of, uh, okay. Many lack, uh, they want to do something. No opportunity. Okay. So cannot travel in house. They will not even send to uh, evening batch. So many problems they are facing. They are not completely having that opportunity to be equal with men. Till then, yes, reservation is required. Still, that secondary citizen, I'm not telling everyone. It is improved. If you compare 200 years back, 100 years back, 50 years back, yes, sir, so much improvement is there. But it doesn't mean that completely equal. Even today, they are fighting for the property rights. They are not treated equally. Even today, correct? Property is not given equally, even though law is there. Even though law is there. <laughs> correct, Alva? They will spend for marriage. They will give some dowry. Done. Tata Baba. Okay. Sir, so same right. 10 lakh they spent uh, on the marriage and 10 lakh uh, they given to buy. Both are same only, right? What is the problem? For one girl, one boy is there. For boy, assume that 20 lakh property is there. 20 lakh money is there, assume that. For boy, 10 lakh. For girl, they have given dowry as 10 lakh. Equal, right? What is the problem? No problem. What is the problem? Property. Property. Okay. Property the price increase at the value. Uh, property price, price increase. increase. Okay, assume that uh, dowry in terms of gold or something given. Is it fine? Now it is fine. Okay, forget about that part. I am talking about property equal uh, distribution. Is it fine? Why not fine? He is a third person. They are not giving the property to her. They are again giving to another boy. 
what is the guarantee in the work situation he will give her the, that property to her he will use and she may be left on the road if her property her, it is in her name so she will be secure till her home oh. now i am not talking about you when worst situation you must understand not the best situation worst situation is when when the marriage breaks parents are not there at that time okay yaro not necessarily first she will be left alone then she has to fight in the court then the claim will be done so how till that point of time what she has to do artha aagtidya after fighting in the court she will get and no it is not sure depends upon the situation which is better her property is with her so she will feel always secured i am secured so difference is there <laughs> just because we are giving means in happy world no problem in the worst situation he will leave see you don't have property go back to the family your father and mother is not there by that time so who will protect that's why the, this is how the you need to go to the deeper roots outside it looks very fantastic everything is same what is there equally only spent right so dowry cannot be equal into property okay if it is in her name that is completely different the security what she gets is different that's why so in so many aspects women also need reservation okay but misuse it is uh, part of the system what we can do misuse always will be there always will be there women will be the chairperson of panchayat she will never ever see that panchayati panchayati itself her husband or recently in madhya pradesh 19 p- women selected to panchayati elections 19 brothers or husbands of their came and took the oath and started uh, functioning okay anyway that will discuss okay anyway the, this will take time anyway just idea i have given one more time we'll uh, discuss technically what all things are there okay again it will come in the fundamental rights there itself we'll discuss okay think about it see injustice may be happening to me don't worry about the think in a larger scale artha gatala sorry en heltira hang miss aichu right think in the larger scale in the larger benefit just like small example i gave one way when i am coming this side it is a irritation for me not allowing i have to come when i am in opposite direction i will get exactly it's the same thing whole system should get benefited then everyone will be happy okay suppressed world actually will not reap benefits it will reap benefits to only half of the people but if everyone is treated equally everyone will get benefit okay means that is our goal it is possible or not possible is possibility is less but we can increase that equal nenamma kirtana hm yen helu sir enamma ah uh, idu legislature in uh, princely states to kelidru hmm hmm okay ninna one homework kottidda yaro helle illa group allo haklilla legislature in princely state manne appa group allo haakbeku okay fine naale band thakshana first adane naale andre naade hmm okay thank you Thank you, sir. Group of Akima.